unemployment in North Belfast, I don't think there's any really one reason that you can pin it down to. I think it's a, a diverse a, a amount of reasons that all come together. Um, the main ones that would be cited to us on a day-to-day -day basis from clients would be the likes of the benefit trap, um, receiving benefits and then scared to come off them. Um, myths about, you know, hearing rumours about people that have come off benefits and then the financial um, position that they've got themselves into if they leave a job. Um, lack of confidence and lack of relevant training and skills. I have education, you know, I have no education. I left school at the age of 13. I wasn't able to, I wasn't able to cope with going to school. But a lot of people, a lot of employers want good GCSE levels, but not a lot of people have that, but they're still good in other areas. And in terms of that, they don't need good qualifications, I think. The single parents bring up their children for a long time. Um, depression, alcohol dependency, drug dependency. It's not something you can wipe out within a few weeks. It takes time, it's a long process. I think the social effects of unemployment in a community um, are wide ranging and it can be unbelievable sometimes, you know, the effect that just having a job can bring to somebody's life or not having a job. Um, high suicide rates, crime, um, financial worries, um, lack of confidence, isolation, depression. Um, there's a statistic that if someone goes on income support and they don't come off within a year, I think it's a 90% chance that they'll never actually come off income support benefits because they start to get removed from society. I think they need to be more open-minded and taking on people who are long-term unemployed. Um, seems to be where the private sector is concerned once you mention people who are long-term unemployed to back off. I think they need to be a bit more open-minded and realise that just because somebody's been unemployed for a certain length of time doesn't mean they're capable of the job or aren't as good as somebody who's been in employment for all their lives. When we would see people successfully coming through the likes of a pre-employment course or um, you know, gaining employment through the centre, there's a definite change. Um, sometimes you actually don't recognise the person whenever they come back in. Even their posture changes, physically they change a lot more confident when you know in the way that they speak and they engage in eye contact a lot more because they feel proud of themselves. I think the private sector is something really that North Belfast is lacking in. Um, there's a lack of kind of enterprise if you look at any other areas of the city. Um, there's more places for people to eat. Um, there's more places for um, people to go out and socialise in. So there's a lot, I think North Belfast, that's something that they're definitely lacking from, which can contribute to you know, low high unemployment rates. I think um, if, if North Belfast could um, strongly benefit from regeneration, um, and bringing the private sector in and enabling pe local people to get jobs in their local area which they can then reinvest their money in. I think they're doing what they can, what they feel they can do. Um, they're definitely supporting us, they're funding a lot of the programmes that are here to help the unemployed. Just sometimes I think they need to be, they need to be on the ground a wee bit more, actually see what is going on rather than what they think is going on. They need to maybe be on the ground to actually see, talk to the people in the area. Why it's so difficult for them to gain employment. You know, you can't just put somebody on their benefit and say, right, within six weeks you need to get employment or this is going to happen or that's going to happen. They need to actually, each individual needs to be, what's the word for it, um, each individual is different, so each case needs to be treated differently. 